I just wanted to put together a quick video to show you how to create and manage a table for your literature review summary. The first thing that you want to do is go up to insert and go to table. Now it doesn't really matter how many rows you select but I typically use seven columns for a literature review table and then you can easily add after by going to the end and clicking enter you can add more rows. If you want to add more columns you simply go to the layout tab up here you can insert a column to the left or right and you can also add rows either above or below where you are using these buttons here. Underneath design you can also choose various preset designs. I don't usually use those simply because they don't really meet my needs. They're a little bit too fancy. So I'll grab the headings that I want to use. Usually I'll center them and bold them and I will also go control A to select everything and set it to the proper font for APA format because you don't want to lose APA marks. Okay, so now once I have this information and I've checked that everything is Times New Roman 12 point font, you'll notice that, well, it doesn't really look like I have enough room to put everything in the table. So I'll go to my page layout tab and I'll check my orientation. It's at portrait right now. I'll change that to landscape. That'll give me much more room. Um, and I'll just double check my margins are one inch on all sides, which is consistent with APA. Now, if I wasn't handing this in as, a, as an assignment to make more room, I might just put my margins to narrow. In any case, you'll notice that your table did not change sizes when you did that. So to fix that, just click on your table and then go up under the layout tab and you have this auto fit option. Now this is really awesome because you can auto fit it to the window. And there you go. And then you can put your information in. You'll also note that if you have a bunch of information in your table, and please note that this is uh, incomplete, that you can also go to auto fit and auto fit to contents. And what that does is it adjusts so that columns with more information will be wider than columns with less information. Um, you can also adjust that later, like I'm noticing that probably the topic does not need this much room, so I'll just, oops, I'll just adjust that. And I kind of like that the paradigm and the method is a little bit larger. So you can also just click on these little lines and drag them and then you can adjust until you get things to the width that you want. Please let me know if you thought this video was helpful by clicking on the like button and you can also check out other videos by clicking on the screen.